Hello everybody, what's going on up in here? Oh my god, let's freaking go, dude. Okay, so this one time I went out to go see this one band and they were just absolutely so crazy and I'm like, yeah! So freaking cool. So then this guy comes up to me and he says, hey, do you want to come over to my house for some homework? And I'm like, oh no, oh no, oh no you don't. But then he tries to get me to come over just because his uh, mom is making some really nice dinner and I'm like, what are you making? She's like, hot pot, and I'm like, oh no. So then Stacy comes up to me at the mall and she's like, oh my god, have you seen Josh anywhere? Like, bitch, please. He is so not into you. Oh my gosh. Although secretly, I know that Josh is definitely into me. So then a friend of mine comes up to me around lunchtime and says, Hey, I'll trade you my um, Oreos for your squid. And I'm like, huh? Oh, wow. Oh my god. Dude, I need chocolate in my life just because. Ah, oh my god. I forgot to do my homework. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Ah. And then so then the cutest boy in school comes up to me and he's like, Hey, would you like to go out tonight? I'm like, why? And he's like, um, well, because I actually like you. And I'm like, ah. And then there was that other time we went out for ramen the other day and it was just absolutely gorgeous. But then this one guy decided to order the, um, uh, pig intestine. And I was just like, ah. oh no, oh no, oh no, you don't. What's up everybody, my name is Danger Doug, and thank you so much for watching this video. Today we're going to do something a little bit different than what I normally do. If you guys don't know too much about VTubers and whatnot, essentially put, there's a lot of people that are put in front of cameras and whatnot, and then they run themselves through the software program that converts their likeness into an avatar. So essentially these programs and whatnot are able to kind of um, read your face and your hand gestures here and there so that you can actually like convert that into like an avatar format. But one of the biggest ones actually is actually FaceRig. Now FaceRig is one of those ones that's paid and again, it's um, about $15 for the base program in Steam. Um, but for a couple of the add-ons, it might be a couple like bucks here and there or something like that. But essentially, it's pretty good software if you want to really get started. Now, am I going to be using FaceRig today? No, I'm actually not. But at the same time, we are going to use an actually really good free software program that I found on Steam that all of you guys can check out. And that is Wakaru. Not Wakaru, guys. Wakaru, you heathens. But for all intents and purposes, the software is free, so if you guys want to check it out, you are more than welcome to give it a shot. And now, let's check it out. Okay, so first of all, we get the software loaded into um, our Steam account, and then we make sure that we download it. From there, you just have to go into the application and then launch it. Everything should be pretty good for the default settings, and once it comes up, we'll get started. I usually have this agreement over here for you guys to kind of read through here and there um, just as you're kind of pulling it up for the first time. But what you got to do um, once you get into it is just kind of scroll down all the way to the bottom and then hit confirm and then you can get started. So once the camera starts going, and essentially it kind of picks up all of your facial recognition features and stuff from your mouth, your eyes, your eyebrows, and all of the good stuff here and there. So it just basically starts to track exactly what's on your face. So essentially after that's all done, a um, couple other features that you should know is that the background color over here is set to the RGB green color for green screen. So you can turn the background off um, so that you can actually move it out to your OBS uh, studios or Streamlabs OBS, whichever you're running. And then you hit um, start sync with avatar. And that's when she starts to follow along with your movements and all of the good stuff. So there's a couple of problems they ran into at least at first here and there. I mean, a lot of times, um, depending on how you're positioned, um, she might have her eyes closed a little bit too much, but I found that once you get a little bit closer to the camera and kind of um, like really let your um, uh, facial expressions um, kind of be known is when she really has a little bit of an easier time picking that stuff up, but still. Um, very, very good stuff to get started, at least at first. Um, but yeah, you might have to give it um, bug eyes for it to kind of set up a little bit, at least at first. So good stuff there. Um, and next you got um, a wide range of um, different features um, for the facial expressions. You might be able to um, get it to wink a couple of times here and there, uh, depending on which ones you want to activate. So if you um, go through each one of these, you can kind of test and see exactly um, some of the different um, types of faces that she can make as you kind of click through each one of these. But um, for whatever um, you want to do for your video project, um, you can make little funny faces for her and stuff. You know, just make sure um, when you're creating your scenes that she's able to kind of give the expression that you want her to have. So um, in addition, you can actually combine some of these ones here and there to make it a little bit more um, easy or funny, depending on what you want to do for the time. And um, just kind of mix and match them here and there as you see fit. 
and even give the uh, uh, horrifying blank stare type of thing like, uh, hi. And yes, you could do a lot of different uh, things here and there with a lot of her features, including her face here and there, just to make sure that you um, have a couple of different bits for your um, setup for whatever uh, scene you're doing in your YouTube videos or something. But that was a nice feature that I did like to see for sure. Another fun application that you could use is the hand tracker in this one. So essentially, if you're in the controls tab, what you could do is scroll down to the bottom over here where you see the hand tracker. And essentially, what you want to do is raise your hand. And then when you click this, essentially, you can pick a spot on your hand for the application to track. And then from there, the application will begin to track your hand movements here and there if you want to work out some gestures. One thing that I will say is that although you can have one or both of your hands over there, is if you back out for a little bit, sometimes the tracker doesn't work at a certain point. So when you're actually doing something like this, you got to make sure that you're in your field of view. Otherwise, it's going to pick up little things in the background, um, like perhaps maybe like the doors or something like that. But ultimately, um, as long as you're within the field of view of your camera, um, the uh, tracker should be able to work um, fairly effectively. It's not perfect, but it does capture it fairly well. And you can kind of do little gestures like wave to your audience or something like that, and then just kind of um, make sure that you get those ones going for all of your people. So good stuff there. Another really fun feature if you're looking at a lot of the stuff for your avatar is the hand gestures that you can do. Um, they have a lot of preset ones over here since it's the free software for the most part. Um, but yeah, essentially you could just kind of pick which um, hand is which and all the good stuff. You can give it a peace sign or uh, maybe some devil horns if you're doing a lot of stuff. Uh, maybe give it a thumbs up. Although the thumbs up is kind of, I'm neither here nor there on and all of the good stuff, but at the same time, yeah, you can have her get little devil horns going and stuff, and you can have her um, kind of just rock out for a little bit and all of the good stuff, but it's another little fun feature for a lot of the free software over here is the hand gestures as well. Okay, first things first, you want to get your OBS window up over here. You have your display capture for the most part. Um, essentially, go up here to add window capture over here, and essentially, that adds a... Um, a look as to the window that you got open for the application itself. So essentially, um, what you can do is hold down Alt on your computer and then drag it down to a suitable field um, for um, your avatar, essentially. So um, you can kind of crop her in a little bit over here as you're holding Alt. And then once that's all done, you can turn off the other display capture and essentially move um, your avatar um, out to where you see fit. And from there, what you want to do is you want to go over to window capture and put a filter on her. So go over here, right click to filters, and then go to chroma key, hit OK. And then from there, it's pretty easy. It's already defaulted to green, so you've already got your green screen um, keyed out. So you can turn that one off, and then boom, you got your uh, avatar basically doing the work for you. So um, here she is in a uh, kind of a blank world for the most part. But what if we wanted to add like a fun little background image? What you could do is I've got a couple of different ones over here in my existing inventory. What you could do is maybe just add something fun like a schoolyard or something like that. Um, essentially, it's just kind of your run-of-the-mill generic um, anime schoolyard background or something. So what you could do is drag that down, um, then drag your avatar's um, instance in OBS a little bit to the top. So if anything, um, the video layers kind of speak for themselves and um, <laughs> essentially put, now she looks like she's in the schoolyard and all the good stuff. But feel free to mix and match with these things um, and just kind of get creative with it. VTuber software is actually really fun to use, and especially so if you want to use this for like a stream persona or character of some kind that you're trying to build, or if you want to do a couple of skits on YouTube, you're more than happy to try a couple of those ones as well, built around like a couple of characters, scripts, or circumstances for the most part. But again, biggest key takeaway, guys, make sure that you have fun and get creative with this one. And that's all the time I have for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also, leave me a like and a comment down below. Did we answer all of your questions? If we didn't in this video, be sure to leave a comment down below with whatever questions you do have, and I will do my best to absolutely answer them and provide links in either the description or in my response to you guys in order to make sure that you guys get the appropriate response. And with that, I will see you soon in the next video. Cheers, guys. Bye. And then there was this one time over here where I was just kind of like hanging out with the girls, just kind of doing my thing and stuff like that. But then all of a sudden, Stacy decides to come up to my table and she says, oh, you look a little tired today. Were you up late gaming last night? And I'm like, what? Are you kidding me? Dude, seriously. Oh my God. No, if anybody looks tired, it's definitely her. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Then there was this one time that my boyfriend came up to me and he was just like, oh my god, dude, seriously, I was just kind of like, 
thinking about our relationship and stuff and how we should probably see other people this time like what are you talking about i hardly ever see you anyways and he's like yeah that's kind of the point ah are you kidding me dude oh my god like i'm like the best girl ever